Okay guys, this video is about the electropherogram. I'm going to talk very quickly about what is electropherogram. Remember two things very clearly. Electropherograph and electropherogram. These are the two terms similar to any other cases. Electrocardiograph, electrocardiogram. Now what is the difference between graph and gram? These two terms. Now, gram means we are talking about the data that we are looking. The plot, the graph that is. But on the other hand, the graph thing that is at the end, if you have graph at the end, in that case it means it is the machine that is doing this process. Okay. For example, chromatograph, chromatogram. Chromatography is a technique. Chromatogram is the data sheet after the technique is delivering us. Right. So this is the thing that you should remember always. Gram and graph, there is a difference. So chromatogram, gram remember I have told you it means the data. In this case, a plot, a graph plot, something like this, whatever, a plot. That plot is coming from the result from the electrophoresis and direct automatic sequencing from electrophoresis. Probably you didn't understand. Now the thing is, we have the DNA molecules that we need to use for electrophoresis purpose, right? We create wells and do all the stuff and start start adding the nucleotide sequences and we get a graph like this. I mean, we get a uh, agarose gel plate like this. Now, from this agarose gel plate, the idea here is that we don't know what are the different fragments of nucleotides. To understand the length of this fragment as well as not only length because we can get this idea of length using ladder, but to know the exact sequence of each of these bands, sometimes we need that. We need to know the sequences, exact sequences for all these bands. Example, in case of parental detection, paternity testing, right? We can use that in case of genealogical analysis, pediological analysis, right? Fingerprinting analysis. So, in all these cases, sometimes we need the exact sequence to study the result properly. For that, only this data is not sufficient for us. So, how could you sequence all these different fragments? To sequence the fragment, if the scenario is we need to, uh, let us say we use that process to finally get the idea of the length of the fragments, then we again do that thing in the test tube and take that and sequence it using a sequencer. But that is time consuming, right? It takes a lot of time and different stages and sometimes it may give us some wrong results. So, why not we go for the sequencing directly from this gel and that is the idea of electrophorograph. The idea electrophorography su suggesting us is that we take this gel and we take this DNA fragments directly from this gel and first we take it out and then we go for a sequencing directly automated sequencing from this gel because these sequences are smaller because they are already broken up. Right? So, we take the sequences directly loaded into the rapid automatic sequencer and those sequencer sequence those segment of DNA rapidly and give us the result. So, once we get those result, so what is the idea here? We are tagging a sequencer, a sequencer with this gel and then the sequencer is providing us the result, the result in form of, in form of a graph. Something like this, say, form of a graph where we see different. Let us say the blue is for G, red is for A. For different four nucleotide sequences, we have different color code generally and we get a result data with that for four different bases, four different color codes and this is in this y axis, this is the number of nucleotides present in that position okay, and this is the position, number of nucleotides present. Okay. So, by this way, we can understand the DNA sequence properly directly from this agarose gel 
without any hesitation without any further due due or problem okay so for that reason we use this thing and this plot this data plot that we get after the automated sequencing of that agarose gel segment of dna we call it a electrophorogram this is electrophorogram and this process is electrophorography okay so that's it guys and i hope that's helpful if you like this video hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel thank you